Hey guys, it's your girl Nautica Kohana back in the building, back in the cut. Um, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll just be filming a vlog for you guys, like a mini little vlog. I know I haven't recorded in so long. But I'm gonna try to get this out for you guys within this week. So today, me and my little sister are just about to like, um, get ready, go get some acai bowls, maybe go to the gym. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out, and you guys are gonna come on my day with me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned. Okay guys, so I decided to do a voiceover because obviously I didn't want to talk and do my makeup at the same time. So I ended up dropping my primer all over myself, but it's all good. We made it work. You know what I'm saying? I uh, mean, go ahead and rub that in right quick. Yeah, girl. Get that in them pores. And then I go ahead and I sketch out my eyebrows underneath and on top. I never take it into the inner corner because I don't like my eyebrows to look too dark. I still like to give it a natural feel. Then I go in with my e.l.f. concealer. Um... It's the hydrating one. Every all of, Everything that I use will be in the description below if you guys are interested in any of the products that I use in this video. But yeah, girl, your girl carving out them eyebrows, looking real good, real sleek, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't do this step, which is apply concealer on the top of their eyebrows, but I do because I'm that girl. Material girl. So I'm no type of makeup guru or nothing like that, but when it comes to blending, you got to blend. And that goes for everybody, whether you know how to do makeup or not. Blend, blend, blend your concealer, eyeshadow, whatever the case, foundation. Blend that shit because... It won't look right if you do. It'll look real harsh. Alright, so I don't know if it's me, but I'm beating the shit out of my face with this beauty blender. <laughs> like, okay, Nautica, I think you're done. <laughs> then I go back in with the spoolie. Make sure everything looks precise and exactly how I like it. Then I go in with some e.l.f brow uh brow tint it just gives like an extra bit of color and it also lays your eyebrows down throughout the day and as you guys can see i'm jamming to raw wave <laughs> then i go ahead with my elf hydrating concealer again underneath my eyes and i go in with a lighter shade as well right on top of that darker shade and then for the lighter shade i put it in my forehead my nose and my chin, the places that I want to be the most vibrant. So then right here, I'm just blending it out. Blend it, blend it, blend it. You know what? I'm about to just go ahead and drop a song called Blend It. But yeah, I go ahead and blend all of my T-zone area first before I even touch my eyes. Because it's something about letting the concealer dry underneath your eyes before you blend it. Then I go in with the Born This Way foundation. Like literally three dots on each cheek. That is all you need, girl. And then right here, I go in with my e.l.f. concealer, I think in the shade Mocha, or just a couple of shades darker than my actual skin tone to give me that precise jawline and, and uh, cheekbone and all of that good stuff. Now, if I'm being honest, I don't ever contour my nose. I was just feeling good and wanted to do it for the video to really honestly see how it was going to look. But that was like my first time really contouring my nose. And I think I like it, but it takes too much time and my nose is already little. No point in making it littler. But then I go ahead and apply some lighter concealer right in the middle to give me that um, nose highlight. And I blend it out. And then I start by applying my translucent powder by Revolution. It's the banana powder, which is my favorite powder. I've been on a search for powders. I've tried Laura Mercier, Airspun. None of them work like the banana powder. But I go ahead and bake for a couple of seconds, literally all over my face. And then I just brush it off when it's time. But um, I guess that really wasn't considered baking since I didn't really leave it on there for that long. 
Yeah, girl, brush all that powder off. Brush it off, brush it off. Another song dropping called Brush It Off. <laughs> Right here, you see me going in with a little bit of blush, which is not really blush. I use um, red and pink eyeshadow out of an eyeshadow palette. I, usually, I use the red shades out of the James Charles palette. But this time, I just went in my Jaclyn Hill palette and, I guess, tried something new. I guess I was just up for trying something new today. If you're a girl and you don't make a face when you're applying your mascara, you are something special because, girl, the faces that girls make while applying mascara is not that pleasing. Oh, my God. And look at me apply these lashes. It wasn't as fast as it looks, y'all. I promise. I promise. It takes me forever to apply lashes. But it looks pretty good, though. Then I go ahead and apply a little bit of highlight in my inner corners of my eyes as well as my cheeks, which I already did after I applied my blush. And then I apply a little bit to my eyebrow bone. I'm not sure if I did that yet or not. But right here, I'm filling out my lips with the e.l.f. brown lip liner pencil to give me like that 2000s glowy, you know, type of lip look. I don't know. With a little bit of, what lip gloss is that? Oh, this is the NYX lip gloss in Praline, which is honestly my favorite. It's either that or it's the chocolate color in Fenty that I love. Best lip combos. Y'all got my secret. Run with it. As you guys can see, I always forget this step, but go ahead and spray that setting spray by NYX. Thank me later. Well, I just got done with my makeup. Um, My camera's about to die, so I'm going to go ahead and charge it up while I start getting dressed and do my hair. I'm gonna show you guys my little outfit of the day and my hairstyle for the day. And we gonna go ahead and get into our day. Hey y'all, so we outside. I didn't even get to show you guys my outfit, but sis is looking cute. Look at sis, she looks so cute. We're wearing summertime fits. But right now we're going to go get acai bowls, which is very exciting because it's a hot ass day. Let me look for these keys. Okay, guys, I didn't get to show you guys my outfit, but I got this little, outfit, this little shirt. Super cute from Target. Regular white jeans. This cute green purse with like these shoes right here. My babies, super cute. Um. But so right now, me and sis is headed to the acai place and we'll see you when we get there. Bye guys. We just arrived to the acai place. It's called Uba Tuba. Um, it's located in Beverly Hills. So we have to walk up a little bit, but I'm waiting for traffic to clear so I can get out of this car. All right, now, it's a really nice day today. We're trying to figure out if we should take pictures, which I think we are, because we look pretty cute. I've never been to this place before, but she has with one of her friends, so I'm excited to try this place, because I ain't had an acai place in a long time. Oh, here. Yes. They have empanadas, too. What? They have empanadas, but like, empanadas? not regular. Oh, thanks. Ooh, it's it is cold. It looks so nice. What should I get, guys? Choose your base, pick your top. And... Can I do a small acai bowl? Two, two small acai bowls. Is that one in the face? Oh, yes, that's perfect. Can I go ahead and do mango, extra chia seeds, strawberries? No, that's good. And are these pineapples? What is that? And then granola. The honey or honey? Honey. She made my bowl, guys. She made my bowl. And then I have, is this cold? It's cold. Yeah. We got our acai bowls. We're going to try them when we get back in the car. Um, right now, we're actually going to be headed to the park. My auntie is currently at the dog park with our puppy. And I'm dog sitting right now as well. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and take the dog that I'm dog sitting to the dog park and yeah it's so cute though guys the bowl it was pretty inexpensive for acai bowl how much was it 16 for both that's not bad at all Ooh, fresh like that oh. are these wooden spoons yeah I'm interested First bite. I mean, you have to like make sure everything's mixed. Get a bite. That's what of, I'm like, saying. Everything. I'm trying to get down there without spilling it on these white jeans. Tell them what you got in your bowl. Coconut, Nutella, condensed milk, pineapple, mango, strawberry, and granola. Hmm. Pretty basic. And mine, I got the acai, the chia seeds, granola, pineapple. Um, flax seeds, hemp seeds, strawberries, mango, pineapple. I don't know if I said that. Are the seeds even for taste? Nutella. No, it's just healthy. Okay, guys. Well, we're gonna eat our acai, our acai bowls on the way back to the house to pick up um, the dog that I'm sitting. Yes. Okay, guys. I just made it back to the house. And I'm about to run up into the house and get Zulette, which is the dog that I'm dog sitting. She's super sweet, super cute. And we're gonna be on the way to the dog park. So let me go run up in there and go get her. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I take pictures, but I don't know if I should post them, guys. Look, I take like a lot of pictures. Follow me on Instagram though, like for real. Wait, hold up. Follow me, guys. Wait, this shit is not focusing. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. Ooh. How would I live with this? Yeah. See? Yeah. Boy, if you don't. Okay, so like lately, not lately, but I have like a bad habit of like going to sleep with my makeup on. So this morning, I literally woke up with like, like breakouts like on my face. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to do my makeup today and let my skin breathe, but I ended up doing it. She is letting the dog piss now. She didn't even finish her acai bowl. Like, how do you how do you save an acai bowl for later? Like, you're supposed to eat that in one second. Uh, zoo is officially in the whip. Say hi, Zoo. We're going to uh, this dog park. Why? We always go here, so it's nothing really new. Kind of forgot how to get there though. We were just talking about pigs and eating pork and stuff and go ahead and comment in the comment section below if you guys eat pork or not and why or why not because personally i don't eat pork because of what pit where, where pigs come from and what they eat you are what you eat and pigs eat slop which is leftovers from messy shit and i don't think that that's very healthy for humans to do, to de you know to What's the, what's the word? Digest. Digest. I was about to say detox. But, okay. um, and then her reasoning, because we, we really started off because oh. Chipotle. She loves their pork. I think their chicken is the, the best. The are... Okay, this is, this is my perspective. <clears throat> there are different kinds of pigs, and yeah, I do think pigs eat slob, but I also think that there are certain kinds of pigs that live on farms that are taken care of fed well True. for us to eat but do you think that they're gonna kill those pigs after they didn't work so hard to, yeah, to take so care of them so <laughs> but what if, what, if, what if they gonna eat them not us what if they raising those, those pigs so that they can eat them no not us. they get paid to, to, to send them to like grocery stores and we buy them see that's the thing they get paid to send them to the grocery store not to make sure that they're good enough to eat but then they also, bro, the, you, don't you see on the packages how they have like the USDA shit? Like, yeah. gov, the government checks the shit to make sure it's like, you know. And that's why everybody that's dying now, because the government is in charge. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> this is just a lost case. It is, because pigs are. I, I would love a pig as a pet. Me but too. To eat Me one? Me too. I don't think that's the most healthiest thing. I think. You say that, but you fuck up some bacon. Turkey bacon. I love me some turkey bacon. I mean, I eat bacon if she cooks it in the morning for breakfast, but it can't be that much. And then, and then the moment I think about a pig eating slop, 
I will not eat that bacon. <laughs> like, it's very OD for me. But, um, yeah, guys, that was a little conversation that we had before I started rolling like, the camera. Yes, I was just Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my bad. Excuse my language, y'all. That's how I keep the camera rolling now. Or the highway? Mm -hmm. Whatever way that is, that's the right way. Because you have to get on that. Wait, you're not going the right way, are you? No, you, you're going the right highway? way. You're going the right way. The, the, the. Oh, I know what you're talking about. He's talking about the highway back towards Lawson. No. Right here. This ain't no highway. Okay, but it's not a highway, but you get what I mean. Like, bro, they hunt. Right. Get over in the side. Y'all, excuse my lingo, because I be having really bad road rage when it comes to people like this ignorant female in the back of me. Like, if, if I put my blinker on and I get over, let me get over. Don't try to cut me off. Don't try to be doing the most when the when the when the light turn green and you wanna hunk immediately when the light turn green. You sit there and you be still. And you wait. Cause now I gotta get in the other lane and see who she is. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Boy, if you don't Cause what's really good and you got you got people in the back like what's up? She probably taking her look, this is like a little girl and a little boy. No one in the passenger seat. She's probably taking her kids out on like a Listen, flick her off. Shit. Should I really flick her off? Okay, now go fast. Now. She got caught up the light. <laughs> hey. hey, what are those black car things we were sweeping them off? <laughs> well, that's too damn bad. Sorry. Guys, I'm in that. Bro. My camera's about to die. I'm gonna have to record on my phone. Which yeah, we sucks. got new phones yesterday, guys. We did get new phones, as you guys can see. I got my cute little gray one. But uh, yeah, camera's about to die, guys. I'm going to turn it back on. When we get to the park, if it doesn't die on me, um, to show you guys, you know, my dog and zoo playing and stuff. So we just made it to the park. We have zoo. My dog is already inside the park, as you guys can see. It's a lot of cute dogs. I can't wait. Everybody looking at me weird, like, who is this girl? Like, I ain't nobody, I ain't nobody. But, um, yeah guys, like I said, my camera's about to die soon. So if the camera quality switches, that's because I'm gonna be recording on my phone. So yeah. Look guys, they have a big dog side. Oh, the corgi. These are so cute. Oh well. They're so cute. Zoo. Where is he? Peace. That's my baby. Hi, buddy. Hi. Peace, bear. Peace. Hi, baby boy. I miss you. Hi. What's your name? Come on. Come on. Zoo. Okay, guys. So. Um, I'm back in the house. It's a little late. Um, your girl about to go do some homework. And I was going to go roller skating with my little sister, but it's dark now and it's a little cold. And I might just have to fin finish this vlog tomorrow or this might be a short vlog. But um, I might film taking my makeup off and just unraveling from the day. I don't know. But... Yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I really do because I haven't been on here in so long. So I have to get something out for you guys. Um, this vlog was kind of really short. Oh man, this vlog was really short. I've been like really into TikToks lately. To be honest, I've been like hella into TikTok. But, oh my God, what happened to Verge? Oh my God. What happened to Virgie? I don't know what I want this vlog to really be considered. Oh, actually guys, so I'm not sure if y'all know. I haven't really put y'all up on game, but your girl just really, just really start going to college. Really, like this is my first year in college and so far so good. Very expensive, but it's good. Um, and 
you know, I think the 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 only thing that I've been like struggling with when it comes to college is I guess balancing my classes and my life. I actually have some really good classes. So I major in psychology and the classes that I have surrounding that major, I have public speaking, art appreciation, I have intermediate math, I have political science, and it's another one I forgot, damn. It's something else, I don't know, I forgot. I've been on this spiritual journey um pretty much just getting closer with god and you know just figuring myself out and what i what my purpose is and pretty much just why i'm here and what god wants me to do and that's what i've been trying to figure out so far in my life why does this not want to stand up oh well it's just gonna have to stay like that but so yeah, um, as I was saying, I'm getting really in tune with my spiritual self. Um, a lot of you guys may not know, but I recently had got out of a, a breakup that really like mentally and emotionally messed me over. And so dealing through that, going through that, it like I lost all motivation, all determination with myself, with my passion. I'm sure a lot of you guys can, you know, relate off of that situation. But, uh, you know, throughout that time, I just kept feeling like, you know, what is this, like, big storm I just have over my head? Like, am I cursed? Like, why do I have all this bad luck? Because around a certain time of my life, bad things were just happening back to back to back to back. And I never really understood why those things were happening to me until I became a little older and I started looking back at my situations and the situations that caused me pain, the situation that, that caused me, you know, resentment and agony and all of these, all of these, you know, vulnerable feelings. I just tried to, I lost myself, you know, I really did lose myself in the midst of all of those emotions. And so through this journey, I found two books that has helped me in so many ways just by building my relationship with god as well as understanding myself as a growing young one young woman um the first book is called the bible promise book for women it looks like this um to be honest i don't know where i got this from because i have both i have both of these books in my closet for years and I never looked at them, never touched them, never nothing. Until now, until I started going through stuff and I wanted to build my relationship with God and I came across these two books. And I don't really remember where I got them from, but I'm sure if you look them up online, you'll be able to find them. But yeah, this is one for women, women, and then this is one for girls. And so I'm starting off with this one because, you know, before you turn into a woman, you're a girl. And so I just thought it would be you know, more developing if I was to start young and then move my way to the top. But pretty much, let me just go ahead and show you guys what this is. It's it's pretty much one minute devotions for girls. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read you guys like one page. This one says, down but not out. When you pass through waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze, for I am God, your God. Then it says, today is the first day of, of a new year. Um, sure, it is awesome, but sometimes a new beginning can be a little scary. Maybe you moved into a new hometown, um, have to start over in a new school. Maybe your best friend moved away. Is it hard to find God in the middle of all of this? Today's scripture promise, promises that you will never be alone. God will always be by your side and will guide you and help you through um, through the scary times. You can rest assured that you will never need to face anything on your own. And then it gives a little like prayer at the bottom. And it says, Father, thank you for reminding me again and again that I can depend on you. You promise to never leave me alone. Um, don't ever let me forget that. Amen. And so it also has the date January 1st. So 
it's literally 365 devotions like a devotion for every day and i think that this was such a great book to come across because you can write in it as you can see i've highlighted things that you know resonated with me and it, it, it's a really great devotional book for girls um i haven't even opened this one yet but by the way it looks i can tell that it's going to be amazing this one also gives you a prayer it gives you a topic this topic is faithfulness of god and it just pretty much gives you a better understanding of how to be faithful to god you know and then it gives you all of these great quotes out of the bible and so yeah i can't wait to go ahead and finish this one so i can get into this one but these are the two books that i'm pretty much revolving my whole entire life around because i need to grow spiritually and figure out what i want out of life you know and what's really really meant for me so i thought i just have to come on here and share this with you guys before i started doing this homework yeah guys i have to turn this homework in in like two hours so I don't think I should be recording. My camera ended up dying mid-sentence again, but um, yeah guys, I just wanted to say like, you know, I love you guys, I really do. And I'm going to do a sit down video very soon. It'll be coming out on uh, May 23rd about, you know, just my life and the roller coaster I went on with relationships and family members and friends and all of the above and why I stopped posting and why I kind of became, you know, socially distant. But um, yeah, guys, I'm about to go ahead and get this homework knocked out. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini vlog of mine. Just pretty much saying hello to you guys again and acknowledging you guys again. And I do want to apologize for going MIA for as long as I did. It won't happen again, I promise. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys, stay tuned for another video. And I'll see you guys later. Mwah.